Our top story tonight at 6, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation is closing its medical examiner's office in Macon. The chief medical examiner, regional coroners, and funeral service members discussed the closing. 41 NBC's Jatrissa Wooten has more on what it means. Chief Medical Examiner for the GBI, Jonathan Eisenstadt, says the lab doesn't have enough pathologists following the retirement of the regional medical examiner, Dr. Kraft. We look at what can we do to keep the Macon office running. Can we get more part-time? Well, I don't have any applicants for more part-time. He says there aren't any qualified doctors at the GBI headquarters. According to the doctor, to be qualified, you need to have worked at the headquarters for at least five years. It takes five to ten years after training to fully be engulfed in the job to be able to work more on an independent basis. Macon Bib Coroner Leon Jones says this will disrupt the industry by disappointing families, increasing the workload for the Atlanta lab, and increasing transportation costs. We already delay and again the death stick is uh, cause of death anyway. The average time now is three months. With the addition of 37 counties, it's probably going to be six to seven months. Okay, so no death certificate being signed without the cause of death. A delay in few arrangements. Jones also says the budget for his office will increase. According to Albany Coroner Michael Fowler, transporting bodies from Albany to Atlanta instead of Macon will impact his office's budget too. Going to Atlanta is going to cost me $550. Then if you have to leave it and then go back another day to get it, then it's going to cost almost just say $1,000 per case. Fowler says transporting to Macon is more efficient. You go to Atlanta, you don't know. They may have 30 cases that day. Louds County Coroner Austin Fiveash says closing down one of three offices puts a strain on all state labs. Over the last 10 years, I think we've lost somewhere four or five, six uh, labs. Uh, they were all under the same guise that they're going to reopen. They have never reopened, and if we lose Macon, it won't reopen. The coroners say they hope the final decision includes sending a medical examiner to the Macon lab at least three days a week. In Forsyth, Jatrissa Wooten, 41 NBC News. So and Dr. Eisentat says the lab will close next month, but hopes it is temporary.